All right, guys, we've got this uh, little duplex boiler that my brother Andy has been welding up and I've been doing the machining on. And we've got a few jobs to finish it out now. Um, I've got this skirt on the inner wrapper that I do need to machine back level with these plates here. Um, and I'm having an issue at the moment with the rigidity. I've tried different clamping setups and, uh, and running the end mill down here is, uh, well, it's, it's really dodgy. It's really dodgy. I'm getting a lot of vibration. Matter of fact, uh, I spilt my cup of coffee off the vibration on the table. So, uh, yeah, cup went over. So it's been fairly frustrating. As I said, I've tried a number of setups with this, but uh, nothing's really working out. So a couple of things that are against me. First of all, this inner wrapper is actually just tacked into place. It's only tacked, so I haven't got good rigidity there. And also, I'm a fair way up off the table. So I'm really, really getting a lot of vibration coming in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it over on its side 90 degrees and come in with the edge of the end mill and see if I can uh, I can do that job any better. Apart from machining these skirts back, I've also got to drill in four stays. So the outer wrapper is going to be clearance. The inner wrapper gets drilled and tapped for one eighth of the stays to go in and they get TIG welded on both sides. So I've got four stays on each side to do. I've got two stays in this um, front throat plate. And in the back head there, I've got another stay as well. So that's 11 stays that I need to uh, I need to put into this. Now I spent a long time trying to get this set up right, but uh, it's just not working out the way I want it to. So, and that is a problem when you are setting up things for the first time. Um, you're feeling it out. 90% of the job can be the setup. Um, Realistically, this should only take 10 minutes to machine, but I've been at this for quite a long time now trying to get this set up right. So it's just one of the frustrations you have to deal with, but you need to get it right. Otherwise, you can end up in all sorts of strife. All right, guys, we'll get that laid over and uh, I'll get that all re-clocked up again. And, uh, and we'll see how we go. Right, so at the moment, that is absolute chalk and cheese. I've actually got um, one of the roughing cutters in here at the moment and it's doing a good job. It's got a very slow feed rate and a fairly slow speed on the RPM. Keep that work carving down. But so far, it's working out. It's taking about a millimetre off that at the moment. All right, we'll keep uh, working through this until we're ready to do the uh, with the stay holds. Well, right, this is the um, layout for the stays for the side of the, uh, the firebox. So we're coming up 75 mil up from one of the side plates, so that's the foundation ring on there. We're up 4mm above that, then 75 and then 150 for the second set. And we're even Stevens central between the two outer plates. 29.5 split between the centre, as I said, 75 up and 150 up. So let's go through and uh, we'll centre drill those first. And we'll go through with, uh, with a drill to, uh, to open those up. Oh no, so I've just cleaned up this 12mm drill, reground it, and uh, I've reduced the web, which helps centers it, but also takes away some of the loading as well. So we'll get that in there, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So these are the stays that I did make earlier. That's just the tiny exit lip that that's catching on. So I'm just going to take that out with a file. And that'll be a beautiful fit in there. All right, I'll go through and do the rest of these and we'll bring you back when we're done. Right, I'm going to send a drill into the uh, in a firebox wrapper now. And we'll do all four, then we'll come back and then we'll drill it out to the tapping size for the uh, for the 1/8 BSP. Right, let's get everything spotted. Um, we'll get our tapping drill. I'll sharpen that up, 
reduce the uh, the web on that, and we'll uh, we'll get through with that one. Right, I've got a tapping drill in here ready to go, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first hole. While we set up central, I'm just going to tap it, and we're going to see how that uh, how that hole opens up and how our stays are going to fit. Now the firebox has got to be taken out again, it's only tacked in place, um, so any swarf, burrs, anything can be cleaned up um, before it goes in for its final weld. Um, I'll stay down the bottom here. It's too long for me to get the tap into, so I will be drilling through and then leaving that. When it uh, all gets uh, the tacks are cut off and the inner firebox is removed, then we'll tap that one then before it goes back in again and uh, the final weld up. Much, much easier doing this than those little um, M5s and M4s that I had to do into this stuff. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll go all the way and we'll see how, those, uh, how that stay is going to go. Right, so we've got that one tapped out now. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to find where it starts. to clear that hole out a little bit further but um, I have had it down and uh, it does go right in so I don't want to push it too far because the last thing I want to do is have it gall up uh, on that edge there but um, it certainly tapped out enough I had it down before and uh, it went all the way but uh, yeah this stuff is horrible stainless is horrible once it galls up and bites it, anything on there is uh, very very difficult to get off so we won't push that until I can open that out a little bit further, and we'll do that once we get the uh, that uh, inner firebox out. All right, guys. Well, I'll continue tapping that set, and then we'll set up the other side, mill back the uh, the skirt, and then we'll drill and tap into the uh, the other side for the uh, for the stays. And we'll do the uh, single stay on the back, two stays on the front, and the single stay on the top. And then I think we're just about done with the machining side of it. Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Right, so we're just cutting the second side now. This is a much more rigid set. Okay, so that's the four on this side completed. You can see the other four on the other side that have come through, that's where we've tapped. I've got two more to do in here on the throat plate. I've got one to do on the back head, and I've got one to do on the crown. And then we're finished the uh, operations at this stage um, on the boiler as far as the machining goes. I've got to make up a manifold block for uh, for pressure testing, so uh, I'll get that made up once we've got all these stay holes uh, completed out. These have been pre-lasered as part of the set that was cut out, but um, they have tapered back, so I'll need to uh, try and open those up a bit. I don't know how we're going to go because it does uh, it does nitride harden as part of that laser cutting process on here. So uh, we'll see what that's like when we swing that around. But I'll be using the uh, the horizontal head coming into uh, these ones on the back on the throat plate and uh, on the on the back plate. So uh, we'll sit up and do the uh, Crown stay next, because uh, we'll use the uh, the vertical arrangement as it is, and as I said, we'll put on the uh, horizontal head up. All right, guys, we'll see when we get uh, organised for that one. Right, I've got this one set up now to uh, to drill through now. There's a 75 mil difference between the top of the outer wrapper and the top of the crown, so I can't get my tap down there at all. Um, I'm going to have to drill this through try and get it started and get it drilled through and when that um, firebox is removed we can then complete the tap out then but uh, to get the centralized up 
this hole is already in place. I've done that. Uh, I've done that a little while ago. So I've just got that centralised up. And uh, that's set up now. So we're going to go in with the tapping drill for the uh, one eighth BSP and just do the hole only. So um, we'll bring you back when we're about to get that kicked off and see if it's going to wander too much. Hopefully it'll it'll stay reasonably stable. So once again, I've reduced that web right back to make that as thin as I possibly can and give us the best opportunity to try and get this to uh, to bite and not wander too far. So um, let's get it in and see how we go. One of the problems with using the horizontal head is that um, I don't have the same fine control and feel like I do using the quill. I've got to use the table to uh, to drive this in. So being a lot heavier, you don't have that feel, particularly trying to machine um, this duplex stainless. But uh, we'll just take it very easy. Just got to be very careful that I don't I don't allow it to rub. Let's see how we go. and pop on there. I'll set up the tapping drill now and uh, it out. All right, first one done. I'll get the second one done uh, off camera and then we'll set up for the uh, for the final stay in the back head. Righto, this is the last stay hole to do. So we'll drill through with our tapping size and then we can um, we can tap that out. Now, I haven't put a center drill on this. I found with one of the other ones on the other side that uh, it worked quite well without it. As a matter of fact, it worked better without it. So we'll see how we go. That's the last of the holes that I have to drill in this stuff. So I'll have to remove this uh, clamp set here so I can get in there with the uh, with the tap. So uh, we'll do that now, at least get that tapped out. And then we've only got uh, one, two, three taps to uh, to finish out once we remove that uh, in the firebox. So this hole I did have to drill out because it was fouling. And we're going to, have to. Yeah, it's still fouling a bit. We just have to give that a touch with a file just to take that out a little bit further and then we can get that bloke through. But I won't do that until the uh, this inner firebox is removed. So just a little bit of hand touching up. And uh, we're done. Alright, the last thing I have to do. Here's this little manifold block. So I've got to make up a little manifold block to do the pressure test that mounts onto this bloke here. So it'll just be out of uh, mild steel through holes to be able to match up with the existing uh, M5s, M6s, I can't remember. And then we'll just do a little uh, O-ring groove in it to pick up an O-groove to seal on the face there. <laughs> 